deal. Well, hey, YouTube, it's P2 Finger uh, again. Happy, happy Labor Day. Uh, if you're out there and you've been laboring, we salute you. Right now, we got some Hulkin Sloppus on the grill pork chop. We're going to do a, uh, you know what, honey? We were supposed to hit that meat with the hammer. You were supposed to chew it up with that uh, meat hammer. Anyway, uh, barbecue poke chop, and the and the uh, the the open pit. We're gonna we're gonna implement the open. I I love open pit barbecue sauce. So uh, I just wanted to let you guys know, um, if you didn't check out the Noige videos we shot yesterday, we went to a remote location and I did a couple of sets of Noige, which we filmed and I uploaded those. And this is something, um, I have to check them out yet. I haven't watched it. I think it's really good. I, I remember uh, vaguely what I did and then I felt like I had time to do what I needed to do. Typically, when I operate the newt case souk, which is a, a noise contraption that I built, one could say it's a synthesizer, but I would never say that. Uh, I mean, there's four oscillators, a filter, a ring modulator, three LFOs, a built-in delay, uh, etc., etc., etc. But I'm not calling it a synthesizer. If you were, if you were going to uh, make that differentiation, you would have to also consider the bukla, or is it bukla? The red panel. You ever hear about that red panel bukla? There was a a guy uh, bukla. He made the synthesizer, and it had a panel that was painted red. And it was at a at a uh, art installation or something like that in the '60s, and you could come up and play play this uh, synthesizer, and uh, the red panel. He had painted it with LSD, so if people touched that red panel, they would start tripping. And it was just it was just set out like, oh yeah, go play with the synthesizer, and then you. You would, you would start tripping. Now, uh, that was like this rumor. It was like a legend in the community. There was like, well, the book law, the red panel, blah, blah, blah. And then more recently, uh, the, there was a book law synth at uh, a museum in San Francisco. And there was a technician who d serviced it. And there was some crud under the screws by this uh, red panel and he sprayed some contact cleaner on it and that made contact with his skin and about a half hour later he began to <laughs> experience symptoms uh, he, he he was tripping so the the red panel buckler that's all true that's one of my favorite uh synthesizer stories but uh, like I said, yesterday we went out and did this remote uh, with the Newt K. Souk. And uh, we, we hit a few different places. Of course, it's the holiday weekend, so everything was taken. And we ended up at like this band shell type thing. It's a weird place. There was a uh, encampment, a homeless guy who had camp encamped out who was unbelievably rude. I mean, he was I, I he was crazy. He was completely out of his mind and he couldn't help himself but keep talking very loudly cuz he was drunk. And uh, I was like, "Dude, if you if you can keep your mouth shut for 10 minutes while I shoot this video, I'll make it worth your while." And then he was like, "You're going to give me money? You got to give me $20 or I'm not." He's like, you know, at that point I was like, well, how about I just call 911 and get the cops down here because I believe what you're doing is illegal. You can't just take over a public area like this. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> so I, I threatened them. He went around the corner and hushed up, and we were able to shoot the video. And I, I still feel bad about it because the guy was crazy, and I, I threatened to call the cops on him. But, co dude, come on. He, he was... 
he knew exactly what he was doing and he, he wasn't going to give me what I wanted, but which was just 10, 10 minutes. You know, you, you've taken over, you've got 75 bags, presumably filled with your own waste, strewn all about this, a beautiful band shell. He's got his bicycle. And he, when I walked up there, he was yelling and screaming at his phone, watching a boxing match. He was like, you want to see the Pachekis' fight? And I was like, I don't want to see the Pachekis' fight. You know, whoever this Rickon Tutti, Cingolini, these two guys fighting. And he's like, yeah, like up there with his black malt ice, some kind of a serpent uh, had an alliance body on this can of whatever he was drinking. And the place, it just reeked like a methanol factory. It had this like smell of alcohol and death, you know? So that was yesterday. Today we went over and did a remote, a uh, full remote. I've been doing these micro remotes, which is kind of silly, but we did, went and did the remote today and uh, the full remote, it was like a last minute thing. And we hustled. We were working, getting all this stuff together. Uh, we hadn't done it since the beginning of the summer and I built a whole nother rig called the micro rig. Um, so I had had to remember a lot. Uh, we had to like go through the gig bags, and I I kind of changed the setup. Like I wasn't using a wet dry wet rig, and then I went back to that this time using this two amp we call it, which is a little stereo amp with a fifty by two board in it, and I ran that off of the uh, headphone port on my modeler and then I ran the regular stereo outputs into the ocean machine for additional reverb and delay. So it was like two stereo amps, uh, wet, 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 wet <laughs> rig. And one of them, one of the stereo pairs didn't have the uh, extra delays and reverb on it. Uh, now we also had Donna's pedal board is new and I had put the, a base limiter on it. It's got a base limiter and a base comp a compressor and a noise gate. Uh, all this stuff that we added on it. There's, you know, auto wah, distortion, mid boost, phase shifter. Uh, there's a base preamp on it, base limiter, compressor, noise gate. It's a nice pedal board. And today, I got to tell you, man, we went out. We had four or five dead batteries that we had installed. I, I had popped them in the tester, and they came up good. I, I, ironically, you can't use this tester to gauge that because a bad battery will show up like it's good. So there was like four or five dead batteries and the, the, the rig wasn't working. We were getting nothing out of the mains until we figured that out. But um, I tried some of this stuff that I had been working on, like I built a power pack uh, with six 18650s and I used a step-up transformer, a uh, little USB plug that terminates to a 2.1 mil. And that'll take five volts that'll come out of a, like a battery backup, like a power bank, one of these things, or like this. And uh, yeah, it takes five volts and boosts it up to nine. So I ran one of those on my main processor, my MG30, which sucks like 400 milliamps. And it ran the whole gig without a uh, problem, ran like a champ. So all of this new stuff uh, worked really well. Like we had that one problem where it didn't, the whole system didn't work and then we figured that out and then we were able to play. And the weather was nice. It was um, a little bit sweaty for a little bit, and I, I got to admit, I had a stomach issue today. I, uh, I did probably uh, five bathroom trips, getting rid of a lot of liquid, uh, real nasty liquid, and uh, I, I was uh, overwhelmingly like nauseous through that whole experience, it was like a nauseating diarrhea that I had today. And every time I ate, that would happen. So it happened in the field. Luckily, there's a porta potty. 
So, yeah, there's all these ups and downs, but wh what I got to say is, and I know I complain all the time, I'm always like on here like acting like, but that's my life and how frustrating everything is. It was so fucking excellent today. We got these new Behringer speakers. They're 10 inches. We had 8-inch speakers. So the bass is awesome. The bass is so great live now. With the sub, we've got a subwoofer uh, with it has two tens. It's a, it's a GK Galen Kruger Neo 210. So it's kind of a lightweight two two by ten, but it's awesome. And then the the new ten inch speakers, the sound that we got today. Um, I used an outboard MP3 player that had a preamp and like a treble and bass boost, kind of like a smile curve. And I was able to access the built-in EQ on the MP3 player, which before I wasn't I wasn't doing that. So we had EQ on our main tracks with this other, uh, it's called the BBE Sonic Maximizer, is what it is, it's on jam. Uh, BBE 2150 is the name of the chip and you can get these boards. And it's a it's an oral exciter or an Aphex uh, oral exciter or the uh, what's the other name for it, BBE Sonic Maximizer. So running that on the the main backing tracks with the drums made the drums so clear and so loud. And then Donna's got her new pedal board, and then uh, she was like turning her auto on and off, like she would do it in the chorus and then go back to the regular bass for the verse. It, it was so excellent today. I cannot tell you guys. My guitar was so loud. The, everything was just way out there, way louder than I've ever had it. This was, I, I got the feeling I was in a real band, like that loud, that good sounding. Like it's, everything sounded excellent. Now, I didn't check my MG30, which is my main processor with all my tones in it, and I had a, a bunk patch. Uh, like the last time that I blasted the patches into it, it had just a minimum. It had like half of my patches weren't there. So I had to kind of make do and play some songs with different patches. Uh, and the reason that we did that was because we had a guest come here and I didn't want to play the whole unbelievably long two and a half hour set for him. So we did a reduced set. And instead of having me having to click through a bunch of songs we weren't playing, I just put in just what we weren't going to play for him. And that was a huge mistake because, I, like I said, this was all like last minute thing. Like I just found out, oh, the weather's going to be nice. We got to do it now. So... Here's the point that I wanted to make. I, I'm always complaining and I'm always like strafing out and like frustrated and like it, it never ends. And then today it fucking happened for me. It was like I was in a real band. Like the volume levels, and mind you, if you don't understand what I'm talking about, we. This rig is all battery powered. It runs off of lithium ion batteries. And I never had it at that level where it was loud enough to really like knock me on my ass. And today, it was. It was fucking awesome today. Now, here's the thing. You guys aren't gonna be able to hear any difference probably because we do a two track mix for you guys for the videos. It's recorded off of the board. <laughs> now, that being said, like if I had some really great mics set up, and that's a whole nother thing. If you set up mics, then you're you're hearing all the crickets and the trains. There's trains constantly going by. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like they're blowing their horn. Like I don't is there is there a goat on the is someone is the girl tied up? Is Snidely Whiplash got her tied out there? So uh, it is what it is, and I just got to tell you guys, you should hire us. Have a party or just have us over. Cook, cook a nice thing, you know. I like meat, uh, but I like potatoes and other sides that go with it. 
and I don't like gamey meat. I like uh, spicy, uh, you know, little sauce, little gravy, anything to help choke it down. Uh, so yeah, you're gonna want to have a lot of wine and uh, whip, whipping cream, desserts, sweets, chocolates, coffee. Prepare, and we'll come and we'll play for you. So if you want to have people come, that's gonna cost you. But uh, specifically, you can prepare all that and let us know, uh, and then uh, you can leave. We'll come, we'll use your dwelling, we'll uh, perform there and consume the food, we'll film it, and then you can watch it after I upload it to YouTube. But seriously, this rig, like, you gotta hear it. You gotta be in the, in the, in the area, in the pavilion with us to hear how good. It sounded so unbelievably fucking great today. I cannot tell you how great it sounded. And a lot of it was just like, okay, we've got the EQ and that other, the VBE Sonic Maximizer on the mains, the backing track. So I can hear all the synthesizers and echoes and stuff that I normally kind of don't really hear because I'm not getting the best mix. And then having the new speakers Everything was, uh, I think I've hit a pinnacle here. I don't think I will, it'll get any better than this. I would have to get, like I know there's these uh, YS Elite speakers, these 10 inch speakers, that uh, PA speakers that are unbelievable. I'm looking for a pair of those and I know I could do a little better on our PA speakers, but for today, uh, we got loud and got G's bass. Oh my goodness. It was just fucking glorious. She kicked the fuzz on it and then she'd do the auto wah for the chorus and it it was just it kind of all came together for me today and I, I was getting off on it so hard. So hard. So I'm I'm really like why was I fucking around with this micro rig? <laughs> like these little speakers. And I've got this killer set up now. So it's really cool because we do have options. If we want to do a last minute thing, set up on the patio or whatever, we're able to do that. And then we have our full rig. So I just wanted to say, you know, for all the complaining I do, that's because I'm used to playing in a, a band with a drummer and a PA. You know, not, not lithium ion bat, like rinky dink shit that I basically, you know, I started out buying stuff from Goodwill and converting that and now we've got like kind of a regular PA, you know. So it should it should sound way better than all that other mess and it does. It was unbelievably great today. I cannot tell you how blessed I feel. So super thanks to Gopti and let me know when we can come over and make sure you have plenty of meat. Talk to you guys soon. Stay cool, hug your pets, and peace.